Do you know how to write a linear equation in standard form? You can write different forms of linear equations. You've already learned a couple. The first form of a linear equation that you learned is the slope-intercept form. This is when an equation is found in the form y equals mx plus b, whereas m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. You also learned how to write a linear equation in the point-slope form. Let's take a look at that. The point-slope form, y minus y1 equals m, again m is the slope, times the quantity x minus x1. This is the point-slope form. Now we're going to learn a new one, and we're going to work with standard form. The standard form of a linear equation is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are integers, and a and b are not both zero. Now that you know the three different forms, we're going to work specifically with standard form, but you should know that you can write equations in these different forms. You can take an equation in slope-intercept form and write it in point-slope form. You can write it in standard form. You can write an equation in point-slope form in standard form or in slope-intercept form. Let's look at how to do that y equals 3x plus 6. This is an equation that's already in slope-intercept form. We want to write it in standard form. Here is the standard form small up in the right-hand corner. Now notice that the x and the y value in standard form are on the same side of the equation. So we need to move this 3x over here with the y. We can use the simple things that you've already learned about how to solve equations to do this. We can use the inverse. So the inverse of a positive 3x is a negative 3x, and we can do that on both sides of the equation. These cancel, so we end up with negative 3x plus y equals a positive 6. Now remember that just because we don't see a coefficient with the y, that when a variable is by itself, it has a 1 with it. We don't have to write the 1, though. Now look at the form of this equation. Notice that it matches the standard form. How can we find the slope and the y-intercept of an equation in standard form. There's a couple of ways to do it. Let's take a look at this. To find the slope, we look at the ratio of negative a over b. To find the y-intercept, we look at the ratio of c over b. Let's look at how this works in practice. Here's the equation that we were just working with. Negative 3x plus y equals 6. Let's find the slope. The slope is found by putting negative a over b. Our a value in this case is a negative 3, and our b value is 1. So we put a negative, negative 3 over 1. A double negative is a positive, so our slope is 3. Now let's look at the y-intercept. The y-intercept is found by putting c over b. In this case, our c is 6 and our b is 1. So the y-intercept is 6 and our work is complete.